this next thing I'll show you is called an if else statement. Very similar to a normal if statement, but it has uh, it has another thing tagged on to it, which I'll show you here in just a second. Okay, <clears throat> this is a pretty basic if-else statement. The else block of code will only execute if the Boolean expression returns false. So it will only execute one or the other in an if-else statement because a Boolean expression can only return true or false and if it returns true then this block of code will execute but not this block of code if it's false this block of code will execute and not this one so right now I currently have test 1 equal to 4 and um, variable test 2 equal to 5 so if 4 is equal to 5 which it's not so this boolean expression will return false and then this block of code will execute. So I'll demonstrate that for you real quick. Test 1 is not equal to test 2 and test 1 is not equal to test 2. So I'll change it to where test 1 is 5 and test 2 is 5. So this statement will now return true or this uh, this boolean expression will return true, and thus this part of the boolean or of the uh, if statement will return true. Test one is equal to test two, so it just um, went through this block of code and uh, totally avoided what was after the else statement. All right. Uh, I, I want to expand on this example a little bit um, to show you how nesting works. Okay. And of course, I just make up these dumb string names just to show how examples work. This here is what's called a nested if statement because it's within another block of code that will uh, execute based off of a Boolean expression here. So if test 1 is equal to test 2, this line of code will execute and everything in the else block which is from here to here will execute or will not execute 
but if this boolean expression returns false then everything from here to here will um, execute and uh, well not necessarily um, this line will execute and this line will execute and then we'll get to this if this other if statement here which says if uh, test w if um, test 1 times 5 is equal to test 2 times 4 then this line of code will be executed so you basically have a typical if statement executed within this else block of code which may or may not be executed depending on whether this boolean expression here returns false or not can you kinda see where I'm going here so we have test 1 times 5 so 5 times 5 is 25 and test 2 times 4 which is 5 so it would be 5 times 4 is 20 if 25 is equal to 20 then this will execute but it's not so it won't execute but um, I'll go ahead and make it to where it will execute so now we have test 1 which is 4 times 5 it's 20 and then over here we have 5 times 4 which is 20 so this boolean expression here will now return true and this line of code will execute as well which will print out test 3 which is declared here and set to the string cool so I'll go ahead and execute this here so it reaches the else block because test 1 is equal to test 2 returns false because they're not equal to, to each other so this first line in the else block executes and prints out test 1 is not equal to test 2 then well which is uh, printed out here in the console then I make a string object and set it equal to the string cool and then I have this if statement here which is basically saying if 20 is equal to 20 which it is so it executes as well and return and prints out test 3 which is set to cool so if test 1 and test 2 are equal to each other then none of the code within this block would print out so I'll show you how that works there test 1 is equal to test 2 which is this line of code here and only that gets printed out so you've learned a little bit about how um, if if an else or if else statements work and um, how you use boolean expressions with them see now this is this is going to be your bread and butter as far as uh, boolean expressions go this is these are some of the main uses for them so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll see you next time